Hey stylers, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a different kind of video. I don't usually do product and tool reviews, but I think this is deserving of its own video. I filmed a My Wavy hair routine a while back and I asked you guys if you would want to see the flat iron that was featured in that video and if you would want to see a review of it. And some of you said yes, so here it is. Sorry if you had to wait a while, better relate than ever, right? This is my flat iron. This is the Nano Titanium Babyliss Pro Thin Straightening Iron. You guys, this is hands down the best flat iron I have ever used that has completely straightened my hair. So as far as the pros go, this thing gets hot, 450 degrees. It stays hot evenly and it stays hot for a long time and that is all due to the nanotechnology that this is created with and it's also because the plates in this flat iron are made out of titanium which helps it to stay hot longer and more evenly and you can definitely tell that when you're using this. I've now owned this for two years and although it's not as strong as when I first got it, it's still strong enough to where I can flat iron my hair with a single swipe so it go it's been going long you guys and I believe when you purchase this flat iron there is a four-year warranty that comes with it. Some other major pros, when you iron your hair with this flat iron, it makes your hair so shiny just on its own. I don't know how it does that, but it is insane, you guys. Like, you can just iron your hair without an oil or anything like that, and it still looks extremely shiny. People always ask me in my videos, like, how my hair looks so shiny, and I think that's, like, a major contributor to the shininess of my hair. Something else to note is that when I iron my hair with this flat iron, it will stay straight. My hair will stay straight for several days. I have never had that experience with any other iron. Another pro is that the cord on this thing is extremely long, so you can kind of just like do your hair as you're walking around the room, if that's something that you usually do, I guess. Something else this iron is really good at is eliminating damage in your hair. If you're someone who likes to iron your hair frequently, then that's a major bonus. I have been ironing my hair for about one, one to two days, a week for two years now and I am amazed at how much damage my hair does not have. I mean, okay, I'll, I will say that I do need a hair trim just because the ends are dry and that's solely because I haven't had my hair cut in two years, you guys, it's so bad. I don't have any split ends and that is a huge thing because in the past, I always had so many split ends. There was a point in my life when my split ends had split ends, let's just put it that way. Whenever I've used flat irons in the past, I've always had to go over the same section several times and I found that I don't have to do that with this iron. I can just go over one section of hair just once and I'm happy with it. This is huge when it comes to cutting down on flat ironing time. In the past, I've used irons by HAI, Hi, I guess I don't know how that's pronounced. And um, I've also used irons by Chi. And both of those times, it's taken me about two hours to iron my hair. And that was when I had short hair. Now I have extremely long hair. And it takes me 45 minutes if I want to very thoroughly and extremely straighten it, like stick straight. And then if I just want to um, somewhat straighten it, just you know, for videos or just for chilling out, then it takes me like 30 minutes or less. So it is amazing. Okay, so moving on to the not so great things about this iron. One of the things is that the control pad is on the side of the iron and if anyone uses irons frequently then you know that's a big no-no because when you're using this iron you might accidentally you know change up the settings or accidentally turn it off and then you're just like going over the same suction and not you know trying to figure out why it's not straightening it's because you've accidentally turned it off. Another con is the plates get extremely hot. If you're someone who likes to hold down like this while you're ironing your hair, then you will not like this iron because even the tips are extremely hot when this is running. So this is for someone who needs to learn and get used to the idea of just using one hand to iron your hair. Something else that's not so great. When I first started using this iron, it left my hair smelling pretty gross. Now, I don't think this is because it was damaging my hair because my hair was fine, you know, there was nothing wrong with it. But it would just leave my hair smelling burnt. And I try to read up on it and try to figure out why that was. And some people said that what you need to do is wash off the film that comes on top of the plates. So I took a cotton ball with some soap and I thoroughly scrubbed the plates until I didn't see that weird matte 
film over it. And after that, the problem significantly improved. Something else also really helped me with the gross smell, the burn smell, was I started to use a heat protectant. All right, so here is the crazy second half of this video. The day that I got this hair iron, I had curly hair. It's now been one and a half years and my hair is drastically straighter like if I had used a chemical relaxer. I had a pretty good feeling that the reason for my now straighter, much straighter hair is due to this iron. If you have extremely curly hair and you want to relax it a bit, just make it a bit more wavy and more manageable, then this is going to help. This, well, I don't know if this is definitely going to, but this might help you. And if you would rather keep your curly hair, then I would recommend that you use this on the lowest setting because I don't know what it is with this hair iron, you guys. But I have a pretty good feeling that this hair iron permanently straightened my hair. I showed you guys a clip of what my hair is like. Um, you'll notice that the roots grow in curly and the rest of it is straight and the straight is all the hair that I you know, normally routinely flat iron. Now, could my hair have naturally just gotten straight over time? Sure, but it just doesn't make sense because like when you look at my hair, my roots are still growing in curly. It's just like the rest of it that's straight. It could also be because of the combination of products that I use. All the products that I usually use for my hair was all in my wavy hair routine video. So if you're interested in what kind of products I use, then check out that video. There is an extensive collection of products. So I'm not gonna go over all of that in this video. Now my hair might have gotten straighter because the iron does do some damage, you know, because that's the only thing I can really think of, you know, like if the iron kind of burns your hair, it would get rid of the texture or change up the texture of your hair. So it could be that the iron has burnt my hair, but it doesn't look too horrible. So yeah, I don't know you guys, it's a weird thing and I've been trying to figure out for some time, but I have a pretty good feeling that the reason why my hair is now significantly straighter naturally just straight out of the shower is um, because of this flat iron. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions about this. Also, I want to let you guys know that if you go to beautychoice.com, this is, by the way, none of this, nothing in this video is sponsored, FYI, but I was doing some research for you guys and on beautychoice.com, there is a sale going on right now where you can get this flat iron for like 20% off. So check out that website. And I'll also include like a link to this iron if you want to read more about it and like what it's made of and stuff. It retails for about uh, right under 150 but I believe it's way cheaper on Beauty Toys and you can get it for like, I think like 100 if you get it right now. So I hope that this helps you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take a moment to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook so we can get to know each other. I will see you guys next Friday. Be well and sweet style. Hey guys, I had to bring Diesel in here because he would not stop crying. <laughs> so awkward. Let me tell that. It just, oh my God, <laughs> my, my heater. Diesel, are you chewing on my yarn? Can't do that, no. Having a dog in the craft room is not a good idea. <laughs> it's a cute little weasel. My cute little weasel. Oh, and he's playing with the lights. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, hey Diesel.